Welcome. This video will give you an overview of the application integration and application integration console services. Let's explore the application integration service. You land on the explore page. All your projects, folders and assets are here. Click new to create an asset. You can create a process, a guide, a service connector, a connection or a process object. Let's look at processes. This is what an empty process template looks like. There are start and end steps. You need to fill in the business logic between the start and end steps by dragging and dropping steps onto the canvas. A guide is a set of screens that help automate a task. Guides can run in a browser or on a mobile app. Create a guide in the same way that you'd create a process by dragging and dropping steps. You get many built-in service connectors like the Amazon S3 connector and the JDBC connector. What's great is that you can also create a service connector to any service that exposes a REST or SOAP API. That's what the service connector option is for. You'll need to enter definitions and actions and optionally process objects. If you have a Swagger JSON or a WSDL definition of a service, creating a service connector is even easier. Just import the Swagger or WSDL file. Before you use a service connector in a process or a guide, you need to create a connection. A process object groups and structures data. Add fields to create a process object. For example, instead of having separate items for each kind of demographic data, you could have one process object called demographic that contains the fields name, address, and phone number. Use the configure guides page to set guide themes at an organizational level. You can also add and edit icons that you want to use in a guide. Use the import export logs page to view a list of import and export activities in your organization. Select export to view and download exported files. Let's invoke a published process. Go to the properties details section and copy the service URL. Paste the URL in a browser, don't forget to add parameters, and then hit enter. There's the result. Use the My Processes page to see a list of processes that you recently invoked. There's the process that we just invoked. Now, let's take a look at the Application Integration Console service. Just like the Application Integration service was a design time service, the Application Integration Console is a runtime and monitoring service. Most pages in the Application Integration Console give you the option to toggle between the Cloud Server and the Process Server. On the Processes page, you can see all processes invoked by users in your organization. Here's a process we invoked a few minutes ago. Click the Process ID to go to the Process View Detailed page. This page has a chronological list of process activities. You can see an advanced view of the process execution from this page. Click the process name to go to the process version listing page. Click the process version number to go to the deployed process version detail page. The guides page lists all guides run by users in your organization. It's empty right now because no guides have been run. Use the process schedule page to create process schedules. The logs page lists all server and deployment logs. Click an item to view details. Use the Server Configuration page to configure Cloud Server or Process Server properties. Under Cloud Server, you can see tenant details and create some system services. For the Process Server, you can view and configure much more. You can configure monitors, queues, storage, and some system services. On the Deployed Assets page, you can view and manage contributions, deployed processes, indexed properties, and URN mappings. The resources page lists resources that have been deployed. Select a resource to view details. As the name suggests, the process server health page only applies to the process server. See process server performance, alerts, and statistics. The process metrics page shows you alarm and receive queue metrics. Remember that you need to use the server configuration page to create an alarm or receive queue. 